In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this cool lighting effect. Welcome to Unmatched Value. So before I go over how I made this, I want to just say that this is a quite a bit of work. It takes a while. Uh, I was doing research for my you know, cool things series that I do and I came across those like single cloud lamps they have and I was thinking like why what if you made a lot of them so I just decided to give it a try and I'm gonna show you the steps I took it takes a while especially like tying the hair together is a big pain but it looks amazing at the end as uh, you've seen also wanted to say that this is not the only way to do it. If somebody out there can come up with a better idea, make it cooler, do something different, love to see it, love to hear about it. Uh, yeah, so not saying this is the best way, this is the way I did it, and that's what I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is how I made it. First, um, we start with uh, dry polyester packing fiber fill. It's meant for doll making, but it works for my purposes. Uh, Fairfield is the company that I chose, but I mean, it doesn't really matter what you get as long as it's a uh, fiber fill. So I'm going to make a four by four, four foot by four foot circle pretty much. So four foot diam diameter. Um, so for that, I'm going to split it up into uh, clouds about, I don't know, square foot to a little bit less. I'm going to vary the sizes a little bit and uh, then we'll take it from there. All right, so this table is about four and a half by three and a half feet. I think this should be enough. Um, in case what you're wondering what's over here, it's little tufts that aren't very cloud-like. <laughs> so I'm just picking them out. Um, yeah, so on to the next step. All right, so we wanna keep these as light as possible, but if the bigger ones, when you hang them, they're gonna sag a little bit, so uh, we need something to keep them flat so it looks like a cloud actually. So what I came up with is a pretty simple solution. So you take a regular soda bottle, doesn't matter what soda. You want to carefully cut the bottom off, keeping as much of the straight um, stuff as possible. And we're going to do the same to the other side, right where it begins to curve. And you're going to left, be left with this. All right, and now we're just gonna cut strips and we're gonna put them inside the clouds. You wanna make your strips pretty thin. About a quarter of an inch probably. And then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to give one side a little bit of a rounded edge. It'll make it sharp. There's no need for it, but just so it easily slides into the cloud. And I gotta work it in there. Ok, 
Okay. And now the cloud will be nice and level. And it's see-through, so it won't really show up when you put a light on it. All right, so I made a couple of these thicker on purpose for the bigger ones. And uh, when you're putting these inside, think about which way you're going to be hanging them. So that uh, it goes against the way it, it folds easy this way, but it folds a lot harder this way because it's kind of concave. So you want to have it this facing down so when it's hanging, it's more resistant to bending outwards. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put these inside off camera because it's going to take forever. So I'll get back to you when I got all these in those. All right, so I got that done. Uh, some of these I put two in. Some of them I only put one. Some I didn't put any at all. If it was a smaller one, that would be okay. Uh, this one I put two in because it's both wide and long. Um, the best way I found to do it is put them close to the top. Um, just make sure they we we leave them in and out. Jeez, can't talk. Um, and uh, first of all, you gotta decide which one's gonna be facing down and what's gonna be on top. The top you won't really see, so it doesn't really matter if you can see them a little bit through it. But on the bottom, it looks all good. Okay, so once you get that done, the next step is to hang it up. Now, I know the thinnest thing I could find that's even hard to see is uh, hair. But since I'm lacking in that department, um, I went ahead and bought a wig. This gorgeous blonde wig. And plus I get to keep it after I'm done with this video. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to use this to hang it up. Um, human hair can hold about 3 ounces. Uh, this should be up, up to par, about 3 ounces too. Um, these are usually about 2 ounces each, so it should be fine. Alright, so I got a chance to practice a bit. Um, perfect the technique so I'm going to show you how I'm going to be doing the rest of these did a couple already okay so you take one piece of hair lay it out like this put the cloud over it um, get both sides and you're going to need a lot of patience for this if you decide to do this um, just tie a simple knot You want to tighten it as much as possible. Okay. So you'll have something that looks like this. Um, cut off any extra if you have. As close as possible to the knot. So that you have something like this. Then turn it this way and get another piece of hair. Once again, down the center. Place it over here. Get the two sides. And another knot. Cut off the extra. Okay, then you get a third piece. And there will be like a little X you can see down the middle. So go through the X from one side to the other. And then just make another knot. This part is probably the hardest because it's hard to see on the white background of the cloud. Blonde hair. Okay. Maybe the third. Not. Okay. And then you cut off the extra piece that's left. Get it closed, but not too close that it's that you can cut the other two. Okay, so and now we have the Cloud floating. I mean, you can probably see the string, the hair, because uh, it's a black hoodie. But if I take it out here on the door, it looks like it's floating. But yeah, that's how it's done. 
And then after that, you get one of your thumbtacks. I painted mine, like I said before. So it's a little bit hard to get that off now. But get them up. Okay. Looks like that. And then you basically tie this to the pack itself. There we go. So once you get that done, just cut off the cut off this little part here, and then it'll attach to the ceiling like that, and it'll hold it up. All right. So this is where I'm gonna set it up. So I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't need it. And uh, so I'm not gonna need this light bulb because this is just plain white. This one I'm gonna keep. Uh, this light bulb is controlled by Bluetooth, so I can change the color, I can change the brightness, and I want it facing this way. And then this one is not controlled by Bluetooth, there's just a little remote. This one's way weaker, so I'm gonna face it this way. In case I'm watching a movie or something, I just want a little ambient light. So next thing I want to do is I want to focus the light down onto the clouds. I don't want it spreading out to the sides too much. So I just got regular pieces of paper and some tape, three pieces of tape, and I'm just going to tape it around like this. All right, so I measured the length at um, 13 to 12 inches from the top of the cloud to the thumbtack. Well, I measured out 15, tied it off, and then cut off the extra and left about 13 inches. And now I'm just gonna thumbtack them to the ceiling. All right, so this is what I got so far. Um, I like the way it looks, I really do, from this angle. Once you get up higher, um, it kind of looks ugly with the white um, lamp that's visible. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to lift it up, uh, make the hair string, whatever you wanna call it, shorter. Right now it's like about 13 inches. I wanna make it about six, so it's higher up and it covers more of the lamp. So I'm going to take it all down, uh, cut the string, and then I'll get back to you with what it looks like. All right, so a couple things made this shorter. It's about a sheet of paper just folded in half. Um, and I'm going to hang one off of the middle right here from this little metal with uh, tape so that I can uh, take it off to change the light bulbs or anything I want to do later. And it's super light, so it should be easy. So if anything, I can take it off and get to the light bulbs. Um, shorten the strings, they're all about seven inches, so they should be right up here. Uh, so yeah, just gonna put it up now. Okay, now that I've got the initial layer down, I'm just gonna take a new bag and uh, take out little puffs that are really light and fill in the gaps. It'll give it a more 3D look, and at the same time, you won't be able to see the light bulbs.
All right, so this, in my opinion, is the coolest way to light a room. It looks like it's floating. Gives a nice hue. It's not meant to be a bright light, but sort of a background light. So since I have it connected to a Bluetooth um, app, I can adjust any color I want. I can adjust brightness. So yeah, really cool looking. Alright, so this is the final product with a projector shining on it. I got some lightning together and just uh, focused it on the cloud. Looks pretty cool. The only problem is the projector shines a square light. And you can kind of see the corners because my cloud is oval. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any ideas on how to make this better or if you do something like this, I'd love to see it. If you like, comment it or subscribe. Thank you very much. That helps me out. See you next time. Have a great day.